Let me skip a couple of pages of the Qasida. He has sections on Riyadat and Nafs and the importance of the Awliya. And then, and this is a sign of his sincerity and humility, he says, عجبت لمن يوصي سواه وإنه لأجدر منه باتباع الوصية I'm amazed at the one who gives counsel to others when he himself should be the one who is following counsel. يقول بلا فعل ويعمل عاملا على ضد علم يا لها من خسارة He says what he does not do and what he does do is in contradiction to what he knows, how great a loss this is. Knowledge is like waves, like seas, splashing, profound, although beside them sit his actions, which are just like a little drop. وَقَدْ أَنْفَقَ الْأَيَّامَ فِي غَيْرِ طَائِلِي كَمَثَلِ الْلَيَالِي إِذْ تَقَضَّتْ وَوَلَّتِي He has spent his days to no purpose. Similarly, his nights, when they went by and vanished. عَلَى السَّوْفِ وَالتَّسْوِيفِ شَرُّ مُصَاحِبٍ وَقَوْلِ عَسَى عَنْ فَتْرَةٍ وَبَطَالَةِ those days and those nights were spent in saying, I will, in procrastination. And that is the worst of all companions, to say, I will do it. I intend to do it, postponing it. And in saying, perhaps, coming from a state of lassitude and inactivity. Then kebbu ajzan an tariqi azimatin wa malin li ta'wilin da'ifin wa rukhsati. He turns in incapacity away from the path of azima, following the harder options in sharia. And he inclines towards feeble interpretations of the sharia and rukhsa, the concessions. That's the sign of this this weak, insincere alim, that he avoids the azaim and follows the ruchas, the concessions in the law. And Imam al-Qushayri in his Risala says this also. If you see the murid preoccupying himself with ruchas, with the concessions, with the easy alternatives, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا يَجِئُ مِنْهُ شَيْءٍ Know that nothing will come of him. Because religion is not there just so that we can find loopholes. يهم بلا جد وليس بناهض على قدم التشمير من فرط غفلتي. He intends, but without great seriousness, and never gets up to do anything. Never rolls up his sleeves, so absent-minded has he become. وقد سار أهل العزم وهو مخلف وقد زفروا بالقرب من خير حضرتي. The people of Azm, of determination, of seriousness, have traveled on and left him behind. They are the ones who have gained the victory of proximity to the most beautiful presence. وَقَدْ أَدْرَكُوا الْمَطْلُوبَ وَهُوَ مُقَيَّدٌ بِقَيْدِ الْأَمَانِ وَالْحُزُوزِ الْخَسِيسَةِ They have reached what they intended, but he is still chained, chained by his own hopes and fantasies and his base pleasures. وَلَمْ يَنْتَهِزْ مِنْ فَائِتِ الْعُمْرِ فُرْصَةً وَلَمْ يَغْتَنِمْ حَالَيْ فَرَاغٍ وَصِحَّةِ He didn't grab 
the opportunity presented to him by the remainder of his life. And he did not gain anything from the two states of free time and health. This is the hadith. It's in the Ibn Hajar translation. نِعْمَتَانِ مَغْبُونٌ فِيهِمَا كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ الصِّحَّ وَالْفَرَاغِ There are two blessings in which many men are cheated, health and free time. We don't use those opportunities. We just wander through them in a kind of dreamlike state. وَلَمْ يَخْشَ أَنْ يَفْجَأَهُ الْمَوْتُ مُجَحَّزٌ فَإِنَّ مَجِيءَ الْمَوْتِ غَيْرِ مُؤَقَّتِ and he was never afraid that death might suddenly sneak up on him and take him because one can never predict the time of death. And he didn't get himself ready for the return to his Lord and he didn't take any provisions for that long distant road. وَبَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ الْمَوْتُ وَالْقَبْرُ وَالْبِلَى وَبَعْثٌ وَمِيزَانٌ وَأَخْذُ الصَّحِيفَةِ But before his very eyes stand death and the grave and putrefaction and the resurrection and the balance and the taking of the scrolls. وَجِسْرٌ عَلَى مَتْنِ الْجَحِيمِ وَمَوْقِفٌ طَوِيلٌ وَأَحْوَالُ الْحِسَابِ الْمَهُولَةِ And a bridge stretched over the belly of hellfire and a long standing and the terrifying conditions of the reckoning. وَلَكِنَّهُ يَرْجُ الَّذِي عَمَّ جُودُهُ وَإِحْسَانُهُ وَالْفَضْلُ كُلَّ الْخَلِيقَةِ But he hopes for and he hopes in the one whose generosity is universal and whose kindness and grace extends to all creatures. And now we see Imam al-Haddad appears to be talking about himself. He's reproaching himself, talking about his own lassitude, his own laziness, his own lack of preparedness for death. And then he says, I have all of these things, O Lord, but I'm hoping nonetheless in your mercy not relying on my actions, but on your mercy. <laughs> <laughs>